what we got here is the PPF, the production possibilities frontier, or the production possibilities curve, that illustrates the choice between um, achieving one objective in relation to achieving another objective given a limited uh, resource. Okay, and, and that is what economics is. Economics is the study of cho how choices are made that, uh, given limited resources. Um, because human needs are pretty much unlimited and our resources are, are, are limited. And the PPF um, it gives you an e economic explanation of how those choices are made. Okay, now the interesting thing here that <clears throat> all along this curve you are using your resources 100%. So we call this, any point here, you are productively efficient. Right. So if, a, if, a, if this society would only uh, save th this number of babies and this number of rhinos, can you see they are productively inefficient? With, they've got the, the, the resources, but they're not employing it in order to maximize the output. Okay, so there would be unemployment of resources. So without too much trouble, they were able to increase the number of, rhin of rhinos or increase the number of, of babies without um, having more resources available. Okay, so we call this point inefficient. And any point outside of this um, productive efficiency line, let's say this point over here, is what is called unattainable. So you can't attain that because you've only got resources to give you what lies within the PPF. Okay. okay? So we can't um, save more rhinos without getting more resources. We can't save more babies over here, for example, without increasing our budget. Okay. Now, <clears throat> The shape of this curve um, depends on circumstances. Normally it's, it's um, con concave, it's hollow from the source. Can you see it's hollow from the source? We call that concave. What is the opposite of concave? Okay. Convex, so okay. it ran like that. But this is the normal shape of your PPF. Now I'd like to show you an in interesting little um, point that indicates opportunity cost. Can you see over here? By just giving up a, f a few babies, we gain a lot of rhinos. Okay. And over here, by giving up just one or two rhinos, we can save a lot of babies. So, <coughs> you can see <coughs> that the opportunity cost, the relationship between the two, differ depending on where one is on one's curve. Mm. Okay. So you can see that somewhere there will be, let's call it an optimum point. Okay. And there's one point over here that would be, that will give you the best, let's say we value babies a lot then it would be somewhere over here, and let's say this was a uh, society that va valued animals more than humans, it would be somewhere over there. Okay, so somewhere over here there's an optimum point for the society, and let's say it's this point, we call that point um, allocative efficiency. So that is where this money is allocated to optimize the value to the society. Okay, so that's just something else that you must remember, and that is the allocative 
efficiency.